Hello Capricorn. Thank you so much for joining me at Tarot Readings by Roxy. I am going to do your angel advice, oracle card messages for the week of September 25th through October 1st. October 1st already. Oh, this summer has gone by fast, I think. My new subscribers, welcome. Thank you so much for taking the time to subscribe to the channel. I absolutely love doing this for you guys. The morning oracle cards, the weeklies, the monthlies. Um, I absolutely love it. So thank you. Carissa Hanub was the winner of the last Facebook contest winner. And I've been trying relentlessly to get a hold of her. I have been unsuccessful. So I am going to pick another winner on Monday if I do not hear from her. And if you want to get in on that, the link to the Facebook page will be listed below the video. And all you have to do is like the page and I will add your name to the list. And for those of you that want a private reading, it is listed under about, highlighted in blue. And on my Facebook page, it is under in prism. And wow, Capricorn. This is great. My moon sign is Capricorn. The magician. I love it. So you are ready. You have the resources or the ability to manifest them. Life is magical. Beautiful card. I'm so sorry. I didn't even tell you what cards I'm using here. All right. During Virtue, Radley Valentine's, the Angel Tarot, and their Fairy Tarot. Archangel Michael, Dorian Virtue. Archangel Gabriel, Dorian Virtue. Dorian Virtue's Archangel Oracle Cards. And by Tori Hartman, a found out, yeah, sorry about that. Foundation card, um, Tori Hartman. Chakra, Wisdom, Oracle Cards. Pretty amazing cards. Love them. So, the magician, action, creativity, new beginnings, definitely a wonderful card to start the week. So, oh gosh, so in this deck, now because keep in mind, you know, her cards are more you know, I mean, basically the same meanings, but on a softer touch. Um, so with this card, you know, it's the right time to begin new projects. You know, if you've had any doubts about, you know, your ability to manifest your dreams, leave them behind. In fact, they're more... The more self-confidence you have, the more success you experience. You know, it may, it may not even feel, or you may not even feel ready to move forward, you know, on this new path, but you're actually more prepared than you realize. You know, your life experiences have trained you for this moment. The opportunities available to you at this time there, it's it's magical. It's magical in this deck. Love it. Can't wait for the fairies. Wow, and the wish card. Okay, so... Nine of Summer, but Nine of Cups, you, you would know it better. Wishes come true, dreams fulfilled, a magical time of life. By the fairies. So, I mean, water element, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, but they, they say Pisces, but general reading, let me mention that too. If it does not resonate with you, check your moon or your rising sign. I always suggest it is best to look at all three because I'm a Virgo rising. I haven't even done Virgo or last, but, um. 
it is my rising sign and um, it, it's, it's happiness it's wishes typically Pisces though but whatever it is whoever it is for you gender again it, you know it does not matter general reading but again you know it's a magical moment you know this card is of wishes dreams come true allow your heart to be filled with that you know, childlike wonder and joy and awe. It's, it's dream fulfilled. The end of worry. Abundance, prosperity, good fortune. Joyfulness. With the magician. What a magical week. Like manifest that wish. Um... Archangel Michael is up next. Sorry about that. Eternal love. Beautiful. So, someone is sending you love at this moment. Now, the first person that you think of that comes to your mind right now is the one who's holding those loving thoughts about you. So, if you've been worried about a relationship, I mean, not only does the nine of, I mean, both cards really... If they don't symbolize it, this one definitely does. And all three of them together, it is a complete reassurance that all is well. All is well. As hell, you know, you're being helped. You know, there's healing with you. If you're already in a relationship, there's healing. You know, those of you that are single, if you are looking for a soulmate, You'll encounter a soulmate relationship. Absolutely. Your loved one in heaven is sending you an I love you message. Um, for some of you, an ex-lover will come back into your life. And it is, retrograde is over as of the 22nd. We are past that, so. Gosh, with the magician and, and the wish card, how could I say no? It's beautiful. And deserving. <laughs> I love it. You, like all of God's children, deserve happiness, health, and love. Archangel Gabriel. <clears throat> so with this card, excuse me. You know, this card, heaven, you know, is reminding us, you know, that you, like everyone, deserves happiness in all of its splendid forms. You know, perhaps you believe that everyone else deserves happiness, but not you. You know, that would explain you receiving this card. Allow God and Archangel Gabriel to help you understand that you are one with the divine and all other creations of God. Therefore, it's impossible to exclude yourself from the gifts of God. Constantly bestow upon everyone. It is possible you know, for you to block receiving the, these gifts, if you're struggling with the feeling of guilt or unworthiness, you know, th th there's a solution for you to just call upon heaven, you know, to help you forgive, forget, forgive yourself for what you've done or you, you haven't done. God is with all of us. 
You are deserving of this eternal love, this new beginning, this wish. Clear your space. Get rid of the clutter and clear the energy around you. You know, get rid of things that no longer serve you. Spring cleaning. Um, you know, whatever it is you're struggling with, it's, it's, you know, clutter can enroad your energy, creativity, and even your prosperity. Archangel Jophilia, Jophiel. You know, will definitely help you find the time and motivation, you know, to clear whatever it is that, that you need clearing from. You know, whether it's lower energies. Whatever it is. Clear your space. I mean, it could even be, it could even be a career, it could be a job change. I mean, it could absolutely be, be absolutely any, anything. It's definitely your wish. You know, you're deserving of it, just... You know, pray, have faith. That, all, that, that it will all work out. And be positive. Okay, and your foundation card. Recovery. Okay. Okay, so if we've suffered greatly in our life, we may feel that happy memories or even our whole childhood has been taken away from us, or we may be aware of something in our past holding us back, you know, without being sure what it is. But, the, but, you know, with this card, you know, it's, it's that if we face the painful memories we carry with, with us, you know, they unlock the door of understanding to reveal the gifts, hidden blessings, You know, many people want to get rid of their, of their pain, you know, but yet we see, you know, that pain forms, you know, the, the foundation of our gifts. One of the most powerful insights, you know, of multi-generational healing is that we never lose our pain, rather we use it to empower us and add meaning to our life. You know, so maybe, you know, this week we, as we shift our focus, you know, to a new definition of recovery, we consider the idea of recovering a life that we've yet to live. You know, think about family ancestry and how, you know, that shows up in this, you know, to understand that your future, your future success is hidden in your past. You know, this, this week, think about, you know, painful things in your life that you've wanted to get over, 
this week, set your intentions to consider a new perspective. You know, what if we never get get out, get, get over anything? You know, what if painful experiences could become, you know, part of a, ma a, a magnificent tapestry of your life? And I do feel like that it, if that's your wish this week with the magician here, and and you know pain from your from your past unlocks the door of understanding. You know, so you know I just I feel too that. You know, whatever, really, this I feel like really is the only, not that it's even a negative card, but I think this card is really confirming that, you know, it's going to help you understand what it is that you need to do away with in your life. I say this a lot, you know, if it's not serving you, get rid of it. And it is easier said than done. But with these two cards, Major Arcana and the Nine of Summer, the Wish card, Capricorn. My moon signs in Capricorn, and I love it. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. Thank you so much for, you know, the likes, the comments, the shares. You guys are awesome. I hope you guys have a fantastic week. By the looks of the cards, you guys sh absolutely should. I hope you guys have a blessed day, and I will see you guys back here with the morning Oracle cards. Bye-bye.